This video will show you how to set up and customize a company in QuickBooks. Please refer to the handbook that accompanies this lesson if you want to get the most out of this video. Click the gear icon next to your company name on your QuickBooks homepage. The settings menu pops up. Under the heading Settings, click Company Settings. You are taken to the Settings page for your QuickBooks account. Here, you can view and edit basic company settings and settings for sales forms as well as expenses. In the Company tab, you can enter the name of your company, the business address, specify the accounting method and enter a PAN for your business. If your company sells multiple products and services, these can be configured as classes by clicking the Track Classes checkbox. If your company operates from multiple locations, you can configure the locations by clicking the Track Locations checkbox. Enabling Track Classes and Track Locations also lets you track the profitability of different cost centers and locations. The Customer Label section allows you to select names of customers from a drop-down list depending on your company's business. Click Save to save your configured settings before moving to the next tab. In the Sales tab, you can customize the look and feel of your company's invoices, including the style, header, columns, footer and more. These options are then set as default customizations for your company's invoices. In the Sales Form Content section, you can choose the default invoice terms, customize invoice fields, transaction numbers, discounts and deposits. In the Products and Services section, you can enable automatic tracking of quantity and price, as well as quantity on hand for products and services your company sells. In the Messages section, you can enable and customize a default email message that will be sent along with all invoices sent by your company to clients and customers. A default email message can also be enabled and customized for all estimates that are emailed by your company. In the online delivery section, email options for sales forms can be configured. You can choose whether to attach sales forms and invoices as PDF documents and whether to show sales details or sales summaries in emails. In the Statements section, you can configure whether to list transactions in a single line each or show all details for every transaction in your statements. Click the checkbox if you want to show aging tables at the bottom of statements. Click Save to save your configured settings before moving to the next tab. In the Expenses tab, you can configure whether to show items tables on expense and purchase forms and whether to track expenses and items by clients. You can also configure other options such as making out-of-pocket expenses billable and adding a markup to them. You can also specify default bill payment terms. In the Purchase Orders section, you can specify whether to use purchase orders. You can also select and configure custom fields for purchase orders, custom transaction numbers and a default message to be attached to purchase orders. Click Save to save your configured settings. These are the basic settings and customizations for your QuickBooks account.